I'm wearing this like ripped sweater dress type of thing. I have um, running shorts under like Nike short running shorts, but it's the one I showed in one of my vlogs. It's like ripped. I don't know. It's like ripped all over. It's pretty cool tonight. It's only 23 degrees. So um, yeah, I wanted to dress a little bit warmer. I was thinking about it and I find that I sound the same on camera and um, in person. I know a lot of people find they sound different. I find I sound the same except when I'm listening to myself talk, I sound very monotone which I don't know if that's what you guys like to talk about when you say that you're like, um, my voice is like relaxing. I find like when I listen to myself, I'm like, oh my god, you sound so boring. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I literally came downstairs. I had a protein shake um, for breakfast, and I'm trying to be healthy because I've been eating like whatever I want times a thousand recently. But when I'm hungry, I'm like, give me anything. And then, I, so I came in and we had spaghetti last night for dinner, which isn't the end of the world. Um, so we had some leftover, and unlike my sister, I can eat leftovers, like I really don't mind. And so I had that, it was like a little bit left. And uh, then I was like, well, I already ate pasta, so I'm just going to have Ben and Jerry's ice cream for dessert, because I always need dessert. If I eat something sweet, I'll need something salty. If I need something salty, I'll need something sweet. Um, like for breakfast, I had a protein shake, and then I, my favorite thing in the world, my favorite food in the world is cheese. So um, I wanted cheese. I didn't. I, I waited until 3. So maybe I'll have like a light dinner. I know um, I'm probably going to be making onion soup for dinner, actually. I'm going back to work. I have my water. Another big thing. My office is a freaking mess. I can't wait to move and like get it. This is my quick outfit of the day. My hair is in a ponytail. I have this Aritzia bodysuit on. The Zara shorts. A Zara big, um, not army green. A Zara big army green oversized shirt. My Chanel, my Chanel espadrilles. Louis Vuitton speedy. And the bronzed goddess choker. I ordered the Huda Beauty um, liquid lipstick in Venus. It looks a little bit more pink on camera than, or red actually on camera than it does in real life. So, like slides off like this. Her packaging is always so cute. I heard this formula is amazing. It has like a matte bottle. But Benny, our cute little sweet Pomeranian was attacked by a um, bull terrier um, outside. He was like, come here, Benny. Come here. So I don't know if you can see, but he was attacked by a bull terrier outside. And hey, 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 it's a person. It seems kind of swollen, but I think it's just healing. Um, he was attacked by a bull terrier. What happened was, my mom was in the backyard. My mom had heard screams coming from the front, and my mom ran in and was like, there's a fight outside, let's go see what's happening. Fully being not aware that it was Benny. And, um, oh, <laughs> that's gross. I'm not going to make you guys look at that, but that's Benny. Um, so then I see, we go out, and it's one of our neighbor's dogs, um, it's okay, Benny, one of our neighbor's, hi, hi, one of our neighbor's dogs has, um, we see, like, a dog fight, and dog fights, people fights, I don't really care about, but when dogs are fighting, it's, like, a whole different thing, because they don't have, like, a voice, like, they, I don't know, this, I'm, I have a sucker for little, for dogs, so, um, we see, I, we, my, I'm like, oh my god, it's a dog fight, and then I realize it's Benny, and what I see is basically a bull terrier who have, who have locked jaws, like pit bulls, bull terriers, I'm pretty sure bull dogs, I know bull terriers and pit bulls, at least their jaw locks, and they can't even unlock it, like, it's not like they want it to lock down, but when they're like biting, it locks, and they can't, they can't even control it. Imagine like just Benny 
being like attacked in the mouth of a bull terrier, another another dog, and it's just you just see poor. I can I can literally cry thinking about it because like Benny is so sweet and um like just picturing like this little cutie pie like picturing this little one in the mouth of like just being dragged and like he's so small if you know Benny you can tell from from our videos that he's like the sweetest little dog and I mean, people, like, it's our fault. Like, Benny is, like, a curious little one. He tries to get out of our backyard all the, all the time, and we don't even know how he got out that time. But all the dogs in our neighborhood are so friendly, except that one. So that's what happened to Benny's neck. Eventually, the dog's jaw just unlocked, and he, like, Benny just ran over to me, and we picked him up, and we rushed him to the vet, and he's going to be okay, thank God. For the longest time, I was always the type of person, like, it's not the dog, it's, um, it's the trainer, and I do believe that to a certain extent, but also, after seeing Benny, who is, like, not enticing in the littlest, and these people that, these trainers, like, the people that train this dog, um, wasn't training him to fight and they he was always on a leash he was he obedient and i know benny just went up to him to play and i guess he wasn't really socialized with other dogs so when benny went up to play with him he it was like a shock to him and he just bit him and like that's one thing i was i'm i've always been an advocate I, for pit bulls and bull terriers and rottweilers and um it completely changed like my view on them like I, st I still don't think they should be like. Honestly, I don't, I don't I know what I think. I feel. So I haven't about sat down to film a video in a hundred years, because I'm not even joking when I've been. I say I've been slaving away, um, with coffee and couture, which is amazing. But I haven't had time to film. I actually did film a everyday makeup tutorial, like what my summer makeup is. But summer is kind of over. I'll still post it. I just haven't gotten around to like. I just haven't gotten around to like editing and doing all that. I'm getting ready now and I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite products at the moment. I'm not going to sit down and do, I'm going to incorporate this into a vlog because I just like doing it that way. It's just, I like vlogs a lot better. I don't know what it is. I'd rather watch a vlog and with like people talking about products than um, just like a video. I don't know. And, like, it's easier for me to just sit down randomly and not set up a whole tripod and get completely ready. I have no makeup on. My hair is not done. I'm in a bathing suit. Um, talking about my favorite tanning product, my favorite tanning product um, is Loving Tan. That's my fake tan on. I'm so pale. I haven't sat outside once this summer. I didn't go to Greece with my sister. So, I'm so pale. So, I love this bronze shimmer luminous cream i'm going to show you guys how this looks on but before that i want to talk about my favorite skincare i always do my face before my body because i don't want to put anything uh, any body creams on my face my favorite mask of all time is this la mer the intense the intensive revitalizing mask this one i got in like the sample kit with the cream i love la mer i honestly think if you're gonna spend money i'd rather spend more money on skincare then makes anyways this mask is the rev intense revitalizing mask and it's a leave-on mask so you just take some and you rub it on your face and then after eight minutes you just leave it for the day you like put your cream on top and this like really um especially after you exfoliate i just use the laura mercier exfoliator is amazing Excuse my hair, I would leave it down, but it looks insane. So for my favorite cream at the moment, my favorite body cream, if you love coconut like me, you're going to love and thank me. This is my favorite body cream. It's the coconut body milk with community, I don't know. It's the coconut body milk from the body shop. I'm all out. It, it's like at the very bottom. It's like very runny. You can see like the consistency. It's like running down my hand. It's a very light cream. And what I like about this is I put this on before I fake tan. Well, I put this on every single day. But if I put this on before I, I put my bronze, in, my loving tan mousse, even though you're not supposed to moisturize, I think that's bullshit because 
it looks so much better when I moisturize, especially if I'm using the um, two hour express and I'm going out with it on, it looks so much better. But um, like I've used this whole body, I'm, I've used this whole bottle. This is not just me telling you a product that's good. I love this. I have to go pick another one up soon. I like it because A, it smells like heaven and B, it's not heavy and I hate heavy creams. But then, um, on my like butt and if I'm going out and really want like a glossy finish on me, I've been loving the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, um, Janeiro, that you can buy this at Sephora. It smells really good. You can buy it at Sephora. It's a pretty thick cream, not like intensely thick. It's like a body butter. And then I also put that on my boobs because as you guys know, I got a boob job. This boob is still higher than the other, if you see. Um, they're a little, like, my boobs were naturally before far apart. Um, they look really natural now. Like, you couldn't tell. They feel really natural. My boobs before, they're pretty far apart. Like, so no matter how much I push them together, like, obviously with this, um, a push-up bra, they look like this. Naturally, they sit kind of, like, further apart. Not, like, on either side of my body. But, um like my nipples in the right place so that's just how they are for this shimmer bronze shimmer luminous cream I just take a little bit I was gonna fake tan today but I don't feel like it and it looks really black there's like some shimmer in it and I just rub it all over my body and it at first you get a little scared because you're like this is not rubbing in but then you'll see It'll rub in perfectly. And it's not waterproof, which sucks. They should like make a waterproof one because you can't wear this like, if I, I'm too scared to wear this like going out because obviously you can like sweat or drinks fall on you and then you're gonna be dripping, have like drip marks, which is a, kind of like a bummer if you think about it. But just for every day, I don't okay, So I'm currently sitting outside Carleton University in Ontario or Ottawa because this is where Paul goes and he, he starts school tomorrow. I started school yesterday. Uh, yesterday. I started school on Friday. It's Monday, Labor Day. Um, and I'm waiting for him outside his like friend's dorm thing because we're supposed to be going for dinner and his friend had to like change and everything. So that's why I'm just waiting outside. Um, I didn't want to go into like the dorms again. I already went to go see them and um, no offense to anyone who lives in dorms, but I don't think I would be able to. Anyways, so I wanted to explain like this vlog a little bit. Um, I, for the past few, like the entire summer really after my last video I kind of stopped feeling oh it's a bunny I kind of stopped feeling myself almost a lot of things happened in my life that I was kind of just if like eh about I didn't like feel a hundred percent myself I wasn't like happy or excited about like a lot of things well I was happy and excited but I just wasn't really like wanting to like whip out a camera sit down and film especially since I'm starting university well I started university but I was really busy with coffee and couture when Ali left for Greece like that took up all of my time and then she came back and a lot of things happened in my life that I don't want to get into right now but um definitely I'm like now that my life's back on track Paul's at school I have um I'm at school when I'm not on a schedule like like for school I feel like my life kind of just crumbles like like so now that I'm back in school I can kind of schedule my life uh it's kind of good that Paul's going away to school he's going to school like an hour and a half away from me so that I'm only gonna see him on weekends and then during the day during the week I can get shit done like I have I have I've been working on Coffee and Couture. It's been really busy, which thank you guys, by the way. I'm so thankful. Um, I've been working on Coffee and Couture. And then I've also just been like, I feel like my days go by so fast. I've been downtown at McGill for so many, like I went so many times before school started. There's so many like meetings and stuff. So that's where I've been. I got a few new pairs of shoes actually. I've been in this like sporty type of, vibe i got the 
Fenty Pumas, which I'm not a slides kind of person. I wanted the Givenchy slides for a long time, but then I was like, I'm not paying $500 for slides. I will pay $1,000 for a pair of heels, but I'm not paying $500 for a pair of rubber slides. So I got these ones. These were $90. If you're looking for these and you can't find them in store, check Puma online. That's where I got mine. I'm typically a size six in everything but I got a size five and a half in these. It was the smallest size. They apparently run big and these fit me. If they had a size five, I would probably get a size five. So I would say size down, half a size to a size. I also got these. Um, these are the, I love how I'm showing you, uh, Adidas, I don't know what kind they are. I'll try to find them and link them down below. They're just all black. Uh, these are in a size 5 actually because apparently they came out recently they're like new or something and when I went to the store I was looking for all black running shoes I was I had the all black roaches and returned them just because I have the all black Yeezys and I mean I like them but they're not like they're a different vibe um I I wanted like Adidas like I love the look of Adidas or I was gonna just buy the all black roaches again when I bought them the first time I had bought like I had just bought in my Yeezys so I didn't feel like I needed all black roaches but when I saw these I fell in love with them but yeah they only had a size 5 which I'm a size 6 but I said I love them so much they're exactly what I wanted I'm gonna squeeze into a uh, 5 which I got this Adidas sweater um, it's like a cropped Adidas sweater that's like I got it in a size medium and it kind of fits me it's the comfiest sweater it was so expensive I don't know if it's just because it was at editorial but um it was this was like $75 and I don't when I bought it I was like that seems a little like far-fetched for a uh, adidas sweater but I loved it so much I've been on the sports vibe I've been wanting like cropped things lately like not crop tops I'm over crop tops but like cropped sweater like not crop like when I say cropped I feel like you get a bad vibe like 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 you get this wrong picture in your head but when I say cropped I mean like the perfect cropped like this is to me is a perfect cropped I really like these um tofu noodles I really like them. They're really good and really low calorie. My grocery store is like empty apparently. I don't know what's going on. So it is Thursday night. I don't have school on Fridays. Thank God, because if I did, I think I would honestly die. Um, it's just like going downtown. I live so far from downtown. Honestly, thank God I'm moving at the end of this month. I now am taking the train to school, so I have to leave, like, the train only takes 20 minutes, and there's never traffic, obviously, it's a train, but the, tr like, getting to the train takes 15, and then walking to school takes around 10 minutes from the train, so, it takes around an hour to get to school. On the way back, it feels like it takes even longer, probably because I come back during rush hour, um, and then I, when I go to school, it's never rush hour. I start either at 11.30 or 2.30. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I graduated from college or CJOP in Quebec. Basically, CJOP, like I've explained before, is the last year of high school and the first year of university smushed into this different school called CJOP or co our college. And now I'm in university. I am at McGill, their business school. It's called the Des Hotel Faculty of Management. Basically, I'm getting my Bachelor's of Commerce. It was my fourth day of school today, fourth, fourth day of university. Um, and Lord, let me tell you, I've done more reading in these past four days. I'm reading chapters when they tell me to. I'm doing like everything. Um, they tell me because normally in CJEP, like, I would just read the chapters when I had to take notes for the test, but I feel like there's a chapter for every class, so if I just did that, I would be, like, swamped completely and have no idea what's going on when the time the test came, so I'm just trying to stay up to date, and these textbooks are ginormous. Like, what is even the point of highlighting when you just highlight the whole page? Literally everything is highlighted. What is the point? I'm doing the Amazonian Indian Healing Clay Mask 
but I didn't have apple cider vinegar, which you need, even though the packaging says you could use either that or water. I used water and the consistency was just not the same. It's like very, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, it's like very clumpy and it's not smooth on my face. So I put a very thin layer because I'm scared that it's gonna do something weird, which it probably won't. I just wanted to be sure. I put a little bit of a layer on. I'm gonna go relax and watch Gilmore Girls and end the vlog. This is like the longest vlog, most scattered vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I'll definitely be posting more consistently. I'm gonna try to post once a week at least and hopefully twice. It's just really hard with school. Um, but I'll try my best. So thank you for watching and have a great day or night depending on when you watch this.